from WeConnect and we are here at the SAMS USA 2018. Welcome. Could you please um, introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Mike Calvin. I'm a senior IT manager at CUNY Mutual Group. We're an insurance and financial services company in Madison, Wisconsin. And what are your responsibilities at CUNY Mutual? I am an uh, the IT service operations owner. So I've got responsibility for the service desk, user provisioning, asset management, along some, as well as some other responsibilities. And here you're going to moderate a world cafe about SAM Essentials, and you're going to talk about how to define a SAM team. Could mm -hmm. you maybe please um, introduce or talk a little bit about what you want to address in that world cafe? Sure. The title of my world cafe is uh, SAM I Am, Defining a SAM Team. And the reason why I chose that is that about two months ago, I was named as the SAM owner for our company. We don't, didn't have one before. Uh, we had a lot of disparate systems and a lot of disparate functions and processes, and so we wanted to try to consolidate those. So as we were sitting through an assessment, my VP looked at me and said, you are the new SAM owner. And I didn't know really where to start or where to begin. Um, so I decided to come here at the SAMS conference because I heard so much about uh, the interactions that you have with other, other individuals and uh, the, the breadth of knowledge that you have so I could learn from other people and how that they developed and defined uh, their programs going forward. So I'm at my World Cafe, I'm hoping to uh, engage the audience to elicit both uh, experience from other people that have mature programs as well as help those that are new to their programs to learn from what they can either develop or grow within their program itself. If you could give one advice to a company also starting a SAM project or like starting to define a SAM team, what would it be and why? Uh, I think the one advice I would be is to just start, is, is to really get a good start at it. Uh, and the, the first advice that I heard even here today was uh, get executive sponsorship. Get an executive leader, someone that, that is, uh, believes in, in the SAM program and the benefits of a SAM program and, and uh, get that uh, right out of the gate to start. Hmm. Of course, it's also very important to educate and sensitize all the employees concerning licenses. Do you have any tips on how to do that? The way that we're trying to do it is to uh, make as many packaged software installs as we can. Through going through a packaged software install, then we can know who has got the software. And then we can also package up uninstalled processes if they move from one position to another or to another part of the company and they don't require that software, then we can remove that from their workstations. Do you think um, there will be any upcoming challenges in the field of SAM? Anything you can think of right now? Yeah, I think the biggest one is, uh, is from a cloud perspective. Um, we have, uh, our focus right now has been on the, the uh, desktop side, our endpoints, our virtual desktops and that. But as I look to and talk with some of our server team managers, uh, they're really concerned about how does the existing licenses that we have today, how are they going to transfer into the cloud? And how do we manage automation through server development? We can ramp up and ramp down servers through automation exceedingly quickly. How are we going to do that? And then secondly, containers. How is uh, a, a license going to work in a, in a container, a small microservice that, that we're looking to develop in the future? I think those are some of the big challenges we'll have from a SAM perspective. Is there any case study that you are looking forward to at the SAMS USA? Uh, you know, I think I'm just really trying to be a sponge and to learn as much as I can from, from, the, from the people that have been there. I've met with a couple of individuals already that are really engaging and really open to sharing their experiences with me and my, my teammates. Great, okay, enjoy your time here. Thank you very much for taking your time for this interview. Oh, you're welcome, thank, thank you, you for having me.